Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Oh, hey guys, it's time for a range test on the Extreme Bow Commander Mini or Commander Pro Mini. I'm not, I'm not quite sure whether it's Pro Mini or just Commander Mini, but anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> and uh, first, a huge shout out to Leem at uh, the EUC Underground for providing me this demo wheel. And I'm having a blast riding. I'll tell you more about that. Um, see the description if you want to get a killer deal on an upcoming um, Extreme Bow or uh, the, the Gold Wheel. King Song too, I believe. <laughs> Some of the King Song wheels. Um, so, usual uh, range test for me. I'm doing the same identical rod that I do on uh, on my uh, range test this one I'm not sure how far I'm going to be going I'm, I'm going to be assuming it's going to be in the 50 mile range we'll see uh, stats for this today uh, it's uh, early July it's, in, it's early in the morning temperature is probably 70 ish low 70 low 70s high high 60s it's a little cool just seems about perfect to be out riding my riding weight is uh, just about 200 pounds 200.2 pounds I think I weighed myself with everything on uh, I've decided I'm, I'm changing my range test my speeds you know <laughs> I'm just riding faster now for a while now and uh, to try and maintain speeds of in the past originally I used to go like 18 to 20 maybe and, and some of the fast wheels now I've, I was doing you know keeping my speed max at 22 but uh, you know to do a long <laughs> to do a well ab maybe average ride for me but 50 some 50 plus mile ride maintaining those speeds you know it can get a little a little painful uh, so I've decided I'm gonna try and keep my speed between 23 and 25 which is uh, it's a cup it's a fun speed for me this is a nice speed uh, I don't feel like I'm going I don't feel like I'm going slow and uh, yeah it's good and I'll try to maintain these speeds most of the ride, of course, towards the end, I'll, I'll probably slow down a bit. <coughs> At least if uh, there's any question, I'll, I'll be able to get home. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's, that's the information on the ride. And uh, what I'm gonna be doing is to ride a reference point, I'm doing the, the master in parallel with this. So I was, I'm going to stop uh, about a quarter of the way into the ride, halfway into the ride, three quarters away, the and then at the end, probably a few times as I get down to zero. And every time I stop, give a little stats on the ride and continue, uh, immediately after I stop on this wheel, you'll see an, an insertion where I'll be on my master at the same spot and I'll give you the stats for the master. Uh, so I'm going to ride the master uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning. And uh, so that'll give you a reference point. Because <clears throat> I think I think the the mini for me the mini, mini is a mini master <laughs> now if you open up this wheel and you look inside it's a master it's got the master electronics you know I, I don't I'm not sure I don't have the stat I don't know how the 
the tech specs in front of me, but I'm not sure if this has the same motor as the Master. It's a C38. It might have the same motor as the Master. So it's like a compact version of a Master. And uh, same battery size, same voltage. So I think it's uh, the perfect wheel to compare it against. And uh, if you have a master, then you'll have a reference point. Of course, my range test will be different from everyone else's, but it's uh, for these two wheels, the conditions will be uh, nearly identical. So if you, whatever range you get on your master, you'll have a sense of what you would get if you got this wheel. And uh, I might suggest that you get this wheel. Uh, tell you more about that next. Let's see, how far am I into the ride right now? About 13 miles. <clears throat> I have about 145 miles on this wheel so far. And I love it. <laughs> uh, I get excited about, I don't, definitely don't get excited about every wheel comes out, but some wheels hit a special, special spot. <clears throat> and for me, it's this, uh, this Mini. Uh, I think I would probably take, if I had to give up one, I, I would give up my Master and I would keep this. <clears throat> yeah, you know, and every wheel has different purposes. Uh, you know, I like the, you know, I love the EX30. That's probably my more more of a go-to wheel because of the the range I I can get in it, right? And I can sit on that. I don't think I'll ever be sitting on this wheel. It's just too small. Uh, but if I don't need the range, <clears throat> ah, I just. I, I just love riding this wheel. It's got power. I've, I've done some probably 50 miles of trail riding with it so far. Done some steep hill climbing. You know, it's just got the endless power. You know, it's a master. <laughs> it's a master in this small package. But I'm like the master, the, the balance on this wheel is just beautiful. Um, I still need to, I'm going to raise the pedals, it's got adjustable pedals, see how that performs, but in the base configuration at the lower setting, <coughs> the center of gravity is nice, beautiful on this wheel, you don't feel like it, you're, you're standing high on it, pedal clearance seems nice, uh, super agile, you just whip it around. I love the construction of this wheel. <laughs> well, one thing is I decided to buy one. <laughs> this is not mine. This, again, this is a demo wheel, but hopefully I'll have mine in, uh, I'm not sure when Leem's uh, sh next shipment's coming in. Maybe in a month or so I'll have, I'll have my personal copy. But uh, you know, I'm not, I don't buy every wheel that's made. <laughs> I can't afford that, but uh, I want this wheel. It's uh, now I have not ridden the patent. I know people who have <coughs> and own patent value their judgment. I don't have any. My, well, I guess I probably could say some bad things about the patent relative to this, but uh, you know, there's no doubt the Sherman S versus the Commander Pro or the patent versus the Commander Mini. You know, the, the veteran makes beautiful wheels, definitely. And the, the quality is, you know, definitely up there. And the quality uh, assurances or checking and all, all that kind of stuff is, is I'm sure, better in the, on the veteran. But I got to say, the build quality on this Mini, which is much better than the Commander Pro, uh, it's it's first in class, in my opinion. 
Uh, I'll have more to say. I'll, I'll, I'll do a separate video on the comparing this, uh, giving my perspective on this versus the patent. But uh, this has this has a lot of a lot of pluses, and uh, that's why I opted to buy this instead of considering uh, the patent. Anyway, just a little a little more background on how I'm loving this wheel. <laughs> First stop, I'm at the El Monte Airport behind me. And we'll see the stats. So 17.8 miles into the ride. And um, I'm at 124 volts. Using EUC World, I can't remember if I calibrated this or not. It says 70%, but uh, that's it. So onward to uh, approximately the 50 or halfway point. We'll see what, what we're doing, but I uh, think we're doing okay. I'm again doing this faster than I normally have done any of my uh, range tests and the smallish battery right 2400 watt hour so I'm actually not positive I can make do the complete ride at these speeds so this will be interesting. Here with the master airport again and um, 124.7 volts and uh, I was 124 volts on the commander mini and same uh, distance 17.8 miles all right so pretty close next stop uh, the halfway point. about the midway point and uh, let's see 28 miles and 119.4 volts 51% for the app so I think I'll make it home hopefully I've been maintaining my uh, Riding speed, certainly 23, 23, 24, peaking around 25. I'm managing it pretty good. It's real easy to, <laughs> very easy to ride faster than 25 without thinking too hard on this wheel. All right, next stop will be uh, about three quarter of the way into the ride. You see how we're doing then. I'm at the halfway point, roughly, with um, the master, and I am at 27.9 miles. I was at 28 miles with uh, Commander Mini. Commander Mini, 119.4 volts, and 
19 point, oh, I'm sorry, 120 volts. Uh, still just slightly more than uh, with the Commander Mini. All right, next stop will be approximately the third, three, uh, with three quarters uh, way into the room. Well, let's see where I'm at. 42 miles, 112.2 volts, 20% battery. Uh, I think the app is being ultra conservative. I don't think I've calibrated EUC World for this wheel yet. So, um, now, one thing I don't know about this wheel, the master, which again, I'm, I think of this as a mini master, uh, you're walking at 104 volts. At least the, the master, the version one master I have. I don't know if they've changed the firmware to allow it to go down to lower voltage. I'm gonna guess they haven't. So it'll be interesting to see uh, on this wheel, Extreme bow, is it, uh, is it gonna be 104 volts or 100 volts? I will uh, find out surely. All right, so the next, uh, next stop will be uh, when I'm around my neighborhood and the battery is uh, getting low. Okay, I'm uh, in three quarter spot and uh, 42 miles. 112.2 was the Commander Mini and um, uh, 112.7 there box. There's 112.2. Well, very consistent this whole all day and slightly slightly higher say it's in the noise <laughs> all right I'll get back to you as I'm approaching uh, empty low battery beeps I'm uh, 52 miles into the ride and you can hear the low battery beep I'm at 106 volts. So it's kind of making me think it might be 104 volts. We'll find out shortly, but um, yeah. Still, wow, you can see you're riding 20, 21 miles an hour. Up till very recently, I've been riding at uh, still 23 to 25 so right around the 50 mile mark i think it started
beeping at me more. So yeah, as soon as I get up to about 19 or so, it starts beeping. I have a feeling it's 104 volts. That's too bad. I still think these wheels could uh, could safely allow you to ride to a lower voltage. But uh, it is what it is. At 52 miles, Manor Mini, and 105 volts. I was 106 volts, Manor Mini. Dropping off slightly fast. Uh, I remember it dies in about 104 volts. No load. Yeah. Uh, no load. They're about. Uh, Just like the Command Mini, it started off at 103 or 103 point volts. Using uh, the charge to it. It's pretty much the same thing. It's probably the hard to know what, what the real uh, voltage is exactly, but I'm discerning that. The, the measure of value being reported is uh, a little low well from reality. All right, I'll get back to you when I'm, uh, I'm still back. Well, good news. I can ride below 104 volts. Nice. So that's going to make this a little better than the master for range, I think. Be cool. I'm at about 53 miles now, I think, and uh, yeah, yeah 103.2 volts. You can see the voltage on the display, and uh, no tilt back. When it gets real close to the end, the wheel, the big old wheels will start tilting back. But that's like when it's almost empty, that's when they still start tilting back. So I can still ride at a decent speed. I've turned on the volume on, on the vapor since it's annoying. 103.1 volts, so uh, nice. Now uh, just keep riding here for a while, burn off a few more miles and see what I end up with. Okay, I'm wrapping up this ride. Uh, 57 miles, and I've been riding. I've been able to ride about tw up to 20 miles an hour, up to the very end. Like you can see, I'm riding right now, 99 low, about 99 volts. Now, when I fully charge this wheel with a charger that I know puts out very close to 134.4 volts. The display shows 133.5, so I just think that's a, it's probably a calibration. So it's a, hundred, a one volt low, and that's why I'm, uh, says I'm down at 99. You can see riding 99.2, something like that. One volt low, so in reality, it's about 100 volts, so. I think I'm going to call it at a, call it to be a 100 volt wheel. 100 volts is when you get, get, get kicked off. You can see the pedals are tipping back quite a bit. So that's cool. That's uh, four volts more than the master. <laughs> uh, for instance, an upcoming ride I'm going to do, I'm going to go in the mountains and I'm going to need every single volt I, I have to be able to get to a charging spot in the mountains. I, 
a secret charging spot I have. And uh, <laughs> I'll be climbing about 6,000 feet, I think. Maybe 7,000 feet. Probably 7,000. And uh, 45 miles. And I'm gonna have to get there so I can charge. I could do it on the master. So I should be able to do it on this wheel, but the extra four volts will uh, will definitely be appreciated. <laughs> okay, guys, hope you found this useful. And uh, again, right after this, uh, I'll uh, pop up the the master video, and I'll say my final goodbyes there. <laughs> oh, this is fascinating <laughs> to me. Um, I'm at 57 miles and I'm starting to get tilt back and I'm at uh, well 99 volts 95.5 it varies uh, now what's interesting to me is I have in my head that the master tilts back at 104 volts and I know I did a ride in the mountains which I'm going to repeat actually tomorrow with the commander mini that uh, I barely made it to this charging spot and I was at 104 volts. Now that was uh, one year ago, August of uh, 2022. I can't remember, but obviously, I think I may have done a firmware update. I think I, I, think I did, actually. I can't, I gotta start writing some of these things down. So, um, I bet that firmware update changed the, the tilt back voltage. Obviously it had to, right? So, bottom line is uh, Commander Mini and the Master have essentially the same range. I feel pretty confident. I'm gonna, I'll throw out the stats for both rides up here. But, um, you see that they should look very similar. I'd be interested to see what the average moving speed is. I don't know right now. Uh, so anyway, very, very, very close, the two wheels. And uh, which is interesting because this has a bigger, bigger tire, of course. All right, guys, I hope you found this uh, video interesting, informative, and uh, until next time.